Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw and today's vlog was going to actually be about how the Israelis treat um, journalists and medical staff but being as how I've seen some of the statistics that have come out um, of just a short while ago my vlog's not going to be about that today because um, just this very month 72 Palestinians have been murdered by Israel 72 13 of which were actually murdered by Israel before the spontaneous uprising of the Palestinian people. Um, during every single one of those 72 murders, Israel and its supporters have come out with the absolutely ridiculous justification that they had a knife and that they were de protecting themselves from terrorism. But that does not explain the following statistics. 921 Palestinians have been injured by live fire since the beginning of October. 855 Palestinians have been injured by rubber-coated steel bullets since the beginning of October. 208 Palestinians have been beaten up and had to receive hospital treatment after attacks on them by both Israeli forces and Israeli civilians. None of those statistics show anything about knives. None of those statistics can be put to one side and ignored because it was a terrorist attack by people wielding knives. 922 Palestinian people shot by live fire. That's not defending yourself against terrorism. That is terrorism. And where is the where is the media? The media hasn't bothered to report that over three thousand Palestinians have been injured by gas and inhalation from tear gas. Yes, they reported that a baby in Bethlehem yesterday, an eight-month-old baby in Bethlehem, died of smoke, of tear gas inhalation. But that's how much tear gas Israel spread on them. These are ordinary people. And the world lies. The world lies. I can't cope with that. I can't cope with that. How do the Palestinian people cope with that? That's why our job is so goddamn important, people. And I'm sorry that I said goddamn. Please don't take offence by it. I'm just... It's not terrorism. It's resistance from occupation. The Palestinian people deserve to live. They deserve to govern themselves and they deserve not to be every single bit of their life at the barrel of an Israeli gun. It's an occupation and the Palestinian people are resisting and these people shot by live fire, beaten up, shot by rubber bullets. They're not soldiers. They're not soldiers because Palestine doesn't have an army, an air force, a military of any kind. They're just people like me and you that can't live under occupation anymore. So don't listen to Israel saying that they're protecting themselves against terrorism. All those people shot, they didn't all have a knife. They didn't all have a knife. Please understand how important your voice is to the Palestinian people. Your voice is the most important voice that Palestine has. While you're silent, you're not spreading the truth. Your spreading of the truth is the most important. Your voice is the most important. So please, use it. Use it. Palestine needs your help. The Palestinian people need your help. Please don't let them down. Speak out. Speak out for the people that resist. Palestine.